world's most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Hennig, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about exercising with a painful hip with equipment. We also did it without equipment. Sure. So, uh, we don't want you to perform any of these exercises if they cause increased pain in the hip. Right. That's the number one indicator that you shouldn't be doing it yet. If you had a hip replacement, then you need to talk to your doctor and find out when you can start doing exercises and what type. Good point, Brad. Or the therapist. That's a small working. amount of discomfort is okay, you know, and obviously yeah. some soreness uh, uh, after the exercise is okay, but pain after the exercise is not okay. So. Right. All right, let's talk about the first one here. It's a stationary bicycle. Great way to start getting some movement in the hip, uh, especially if you're able to go all the way around. Sometimes people only can go halfway. Yep, and so you can just go back and forth, and that, yep. that's a good way to get it moving. And uh, a recumbent bike works really nice because mm. it gives you good support for your back and, and works out quite well. Right. So they, they have those type now for stationary bikes too, correct? Um, well, I guess they've always had those. Yeah, All right. You can sit back easier and safer. Some people have balance problems on a regular stationary bike, and getting on and off them can be challenging. Yeah, actually, I just had a friend who had a knee replacement, and it, that was the big thing. He had trouble getting on the bike. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and so... All right, number two, walking in a swimming pool. So, you mm. know, you get some buoyancy from the pool, oh, yeah. but you also get some resistance right. from the pool. Yep. So Boy, that can be a really big b bonus if you like water and you have a place to do it. Yeah, that then that's the downside of it, mm. trying to find a place. But uh, <laughs> yeah. we'd recommend also that you do some sidestepping in the yes. pool, too. Yeah. yeah not just yep. right. Work, work those work legs. Hip abductors. Do some marching. Yeah, marching. Yep. There's a group. I mean, ideally, you, you join a class, you yeah. know, and, and they go over all that. All right, number four, uh, an elliptical, especially a recumbent elliptical. And we like the teeter. Um, Mike's going to put up a picture of the teeter. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done videos on this thing in the past. It's uh, really well made yes. for the price range. Right. Wouldn't you say, right. Brad? Yep. So we'll put a link below so you can check it out. Yep, um, good seat. It's very quiet. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, it's whisper quiet. Mm -hmm. Good point. I, I remember, kind of forgot that. So, like, if you're watching TV while you're working out. <laughs> right. Yeah. Or, you know, if you want to talk to a family member right. or your wife, you know, then you wish maybe you had a loud one. Yeah, I, 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 even when I play music sometimes, I'm like, oh, I didn't put it up loud enough. Yes, you know, yes. Treadmill's so loud. Mm -hmm. All right. Next one is walking on a treadmill. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, if you have a little unsteadiness, hold on to the sides. But uh, walking is a great form of movement without too much stress on the hip. Sure. Yep. So, um, next one, lateral steps with Bob and Brad bands. Now, without equipment, we showed you just, you know, doing steps like this as a start. Mm -hmm. and But eventually, if you want to get a little more advanced... You can take some bands, and uh, we like these bands because they're they're wider, and so they're more comfortable, and they don't fold up on you. You know. Yeah. It, if if you already have uh, some the latex loop bands, they work. Yeah, but they all work. They they roll up and they become pretty irritating. And um, yeah, I I still have one at home actually that I use, and it it rolls up on me every time. So yep, oh. is it kind of like uh, I can't touch this? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's put your hands on the hips like this. Bob, I wouldn't want to touch it. So <laughs> you back and forth. You know, if you need a cane or a countertop to steady yourself, if you feel unsteady, absolutely do that yeah, for now sure. Yeah, again, this is advanced. This isn't, you know, you wouldn't start off with these. Right. Um, yep. And then the same with these. Uh, we have you do gluteal pumps. Now, you wouldn't start off with these. But you can and you can do these in a quadruped position like this, or you can lay it flat on your lie flat on your stomach. Yep. So, but here I'm going to get some extra resistance when I have the bands in place. Yeah, that and that, that works the goose. I'll yeah. tell you, man. And I, I, you would not be able to do this with a uh, latex or that rubber. Oh yeah, it would roll right they up. They roll on you. up and they do not work at all. Yeah, the, this the, is where these are nice. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you also. You could be like this, and you go like that also. Yep. 
What are you grunting, Bob? What's going on? Wow, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> you actually go up on your quad. I'm going to throw on. You You can just do like the uh, fire hydrant. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Straight out yeah, to the side. Yeah, abduction. Yep. Now, the one way you can vary the resistance with these is simply move the band up towards your hip. Yeah, and there'll be a little bit less and, resistance and it, then. Yeah, it becomes easier. Um, more towards your knees. It's all physics. More difficult, yep. It's all just a matter of leverage. So that's a nice benefit. Yeah, I'll tell you, the, um, we always want to strengthen the buttock muscles, especially the gluteus maximus. Yep. Because it helps stabilize the hip and keep it the ball in the mm -hmm. socket, and so you're going to have less problems if you do it that way. Do we uh, do we have the standing one? What? Yeah, you could. Oh, yeah, you can do that too. Yeah, that uh, you know. Oh, I it was lateral steps with the band in place. You know, oh, that, that's that kinda, right. Yeah, that actually, yeah. So the same thing. yeah, this is. And yeah, actually, this is probably more better. functional, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, boy, my hips are starting to get tired. All right, we're going to show you the thick glide. Um, the reason we like this device is because it's so lightweight. So, like, you don't have to worry about. Um, well, I'm going to do it on the bed, bed. You are okay. Yeah. Because I want to move the hip, and the hip, if you want the hip movement, you want to do it. Oh, supine. Yeah. Oh, sure, sure, but sure. But you can see I can grab this with one finger. So you, you know, if you are a little bit on the elderly, elderly side and don't want to be carrying something heavy. Uh, well, I'm not elderly and I still like it light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can lie down in bed and uh, you can do this with your shoes on or you can do it with a towel underneath it yeah. uh, if you're going to do it for a long time because it could be a little bit hard on your heels otherwise. But this is how much a, callus you have. <laughs> it's just a great way to get the hip moving. Uh, without a lot of stress on it. Right, yep. So it's something you could do in bed before you even get out of bed. Wake up those hips. Yeah, but I, you know, don't sleep with it. It's yeah. going to be uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. So it, it also works for, yeah, on the lowers if you, if you want yeah. to hit mostly the knees. You don't hit the hips as much. Yeah, but, you know, yeah, this is uh, yeah. just. You're well, getting a little hip movement, but yep. not, not it, much. Yeah. So if you were to want it for that, you could use it for both, and you don't. Right. You're getting uh, knees, hips, and uh, the yeah, whole. We works. get a lot of people who, who buy these for a knee replacement. Yeah. Uh, and Brad's going to demonstrate the last one. Uh, basically, you can do some strengthening with uh, the bands, uh, exercise bands. Yep. And uh, these band kits almost all come with a cuff that you can put around your ankle. Yep, so it's up. just Velcro. I've already put it on there, and you simply connect. Grab the booyah stick if you want to do some balance. And yeah. uh, this is a nice one because it works on your balance and your strength. Yeah. But you can work the hip in all directions. Good you, 10, 15 repetitions. Yeah, going good. flexion there. You may not kick real high to start with. Just work baby ones. So you go that way, out Abduction. to the side. Don't do not do this with your body. Keep your upper trunk stable and upright. And the final one. The extension. I guess you could do adduction, too. You could, you could yeah, go yeah. across if you're a soccer player. Yeah. <laughs> this one probably the, is the least important of yeah, the three. Yeah, it, it would probably be one that might even hurt if you did yeah, that Yeah, if one. you had a hip replacement, you just you for sure do don't want to do that right. one. Mm -hmm. So there they are. Um, Give these a try or figure out which ones you like and give that a try. Um, this video is a part of a series of videos on hip pain. Uh, if you want to see the full series, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the program section. Look for the hip pain yep. series and uh, check it out. We got, I don't know, 30 videos there. And watch the ones that pertain to you. Right. And they have a PDF printout of a summary of the video with exercises on there. So uh, you can just print it out and use it for a reference. It makes it very convenient. We don't ask for anything, no email, no charge. We're just happy to help you out. Yep. That's our gift to you. There you go.